So an SNK producer came out um, with an interview that he did saying that we're gonna get uh, more information. Now we don't know if it's a video, or it was some type of gameplay, or if they're just gonna show us another way of the looking at the logo of KOF 15 um, in early 2021. Um, so some other. <laughs> I just realized what she said there. So some other information uh, that he also let us know was that one thing is that so we are going to get a 3D model game. It won't be the 2D sprites from KOF 13 that everybody loves. And he also said there's going to be like some new technology used um, in the game. Now, we don't know if that's just basically saying it's going to be really dope with the new systems hardware, you know, the PS5 and Xbox Series X. But that's what he told us. So um give it to you guys are you guys still hyped for kof 15 uh, i know for like now it can it almost feels like a fairy tale like oh this thing isn't real but you know <laughs> so uh how are you guys feeling about it take it away Devin. um so I'm, I'm hyped to see what they got cooking uh if i remember the last fighting games the snk release was snk heroines i think in 13 and 14 if i'm not mistaken um they okay so my thing is that hopefully this doesn't turn out like uh k well 14's initial announcement when everybody was making the memes about this looks like a sega uh, dreamcast game or a ps1 game they like take the kof 14 logo and put it on the ps1 uh case um and they, they did fix it which is a good thing they added like a graphical update and stuff of that nature i played the game it was pretty cool i didn't like it as much as 13 13 is my favorite of all time and of course the, the sprites are just the best i know it's it's more work to do those parts because they're hand drawn but i mean it's still to me to date the it don't best matter do it <laughs> i mean i would be i would be down for that um especially with today's technology you could do like some dope stuff with hand drawn animation a hand the 2d sprites um but i just don't i just think you know for sake of like financial efficiency on their side they probably won't do it so that's probably why they're going to keep adopting the 3D style. As long as it looks good, as long as the art style, the art direction is okay, I'm fine with it. Um, but I think most of it is the gameplay. The gameplay has to be solid. Um, 14's gameplay was similar to 13, but it didn't have the HD system that was quite the same. Like HD combos in 13, oh my gosh, it was so hype, man. Those cancels, the execution, the moves, it was just dope. Um, so I'm hoping in 15 they show us something like excuse me like trey was just saying i take was just saying like not just the new logo um i want to see some type of gameplay a character model or something show me keo doing a fireball a dp or something like you know just to show us maybe like some type of so we can gauge like what's going on and see how the game is going to progress um and hopefully get you know ready for some next gen fighting games because i think right now the only next gen fighting game that we have on the horizon is uh guilty gear strive um, I wouldn't really consider Ultimate because Ultimate's already been out, even though it has a, a next gen version. But yeah, hopefully we can see like what next gen fighting games can do. Uh, like I said, hopefully they, they they take good care of the art direction and the art style. If it's three D models, just make sure they look cool in some way. Uh, make sure the game still has has its attitude of KOF. Um, make sure that the the combat system is okay. Um, I don't know. See, one thing about it, though, I'm kind of curious is, are they going to make it, like, a little easier, I guess, a little more accessible? Because KOF 13 was known for being a hard game. Like, if you got into KOF 13, it was hard. Like, the execution, uh, just learning the neutral in that game was kind of a, a task in itself. 14 kind of alleviated that a little bit, I feel. Um, so I'm kind of curious to see what they're going to do on that side. Are they going to make it, like, KOF with auto combos, which I, I would – I don't know if I would necessarily be opposed to, but man, that would be kind of, it'd be interesting to see that implemented into KOF because that would definitely like uh, stray away from the hardcore base that it has in terms of like just this, the gameplay. But I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm curious to see what they got. Just show me something cool and I'm with it. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, the thing about uh, King of Fighters is, is that I've, um, I've been a King of Fighters fan since about like high school, I think. And uh, my favorite King of Fighters game, of course, is uh well i wouldn't say of course right because you know you, this is probably like a lot of people i don't know if any, a lot of people agree but king of fighters 2003 was my favorite one uh king of fighters 2003 was great i like king of fighters 13 but um king of fighters 2003 had the um still i don't know why they kind of took this out if i if i remember correctly i think it was a, my one of the last games if not the last game to feature the uh 
the um a mechanic where you could switch in your characters in and out of the um, in and out of the fight like during an actual mm-hmm. round. So I always thought that was really cool. I didn't really like it when they took that out of the game, but um you know one of my my favorite one of my favorite teams in terms of like any team ever was uh, in that game, which was um, the Outlaw team, which was Yuji Yamazaki, Gato, and uh, Billy Kane. And uh, I, I mean, that was my team right there, man. Those guys were awesome. But uh, I mean, they didn't really have it. They didn't, that team didn't really like go into like any of the other games. Ryuji didn't really show back up again until what was it like King of Fighter 14? And even then, he wasn't part of the original roster. He was a DLC character, and uh, that's my favorite character, like in terms of um, King of Fighters, actually Ryuji Yamazaki. And my issue is, is that I, I mean. I do like the 2D sprites. I think the 2D sprites look amazing. Uh, they've always looked good. They pretty much always look good. The more, the, like, every single game, they just improved upon it. And uh, I got to say that it, it's not great that they kind of, um, I would say that it's not great that they went the direction of using 3D models, but I wouldn't say it's bad. I would just say it's it's definitely, as in my opinion, not ideal because... Uh, I've always liked our hand-drawn sprites. I wasn't really happy when they moved away from that even in Street Fighter. I, I really like, always really liked the hand-drawn sprites. I think um, the pinnacle was when they were in like, you know, Street Fighter 3, like oh, Street Fighter 3, like all of them, like, um, like uh, what's called it? Second Impact, New Generation, Third Strike, what have you. All of those were really great. And um, then like in Street Fighter 4, you know, now we're using, um, you know, 3D sprites. And which, like, they weren't bad, but I don't know. There's just something about, I guess, like the about the uh, 2D sprites. I'm not saying that it takes. I don't. I don't. I can't really comment on what the effort is between like one and the other. But I do really love the way 2D sprites look. They just look really good to me. I get a good feeling when I look at them. Um, it's a. Uh, I mean, it's a feeling of wonder and nostalgia, kind of all wrapped into the wrapped into one package. And uh, I, I really, I really appreciate that, and I appreciated that about King of Fighters as well. And them going on 3D with um, with uh, King of Fighters 14, I'm, uh, King of Fighters 15, excuse me. Um, that was pretty much. I mean, they're they're pretty much not going to go back to 2D sprites. I mean, if they did, it would it would surprise me very much because they've um, in the last couple games they did, like uh, what was it? I think of SNK Heroines. They did um, King of Fighters 14, uh, Samurai Showdown. All of them have been, yeah. you know, they've pretty much yeah, they've pretty much moved to 3D uh, to 3D sprites. Like I think that's that's pretty much the wave now. On um, both um, in terms of King of uh, King of Fighters and Street Fighter, I think that's pretty much what we can expect from now on in terms of, like 3D sprites in a 2D game uh, 2D game plane. So, I, but I, um, but even with all that. I would say I'm still hyped for King of Fighters. I'm I'm not good at the game by any stretch of the imagination, but I buy almost every 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 King of Fighters game that comes out. I pretty I buy them. I bought King of Fighters 2002, 2003. I bought um I think I bought 12. I bought 11. I bought 13. I bought 14. And I'm going to buy 15 too. I'm going to pretty. I, I buy every King of Fighters game that comes out. This is not going to be any different. I'm going to play it as long as there are people to play with, and I'm I'm willing to take my lumps as long as possible to to eventually. I one day I'm going to learn how to play that game properly. But um, until that day, courage. What Evan was saying is like, <clears throat> honestly, to be uh, to be honest, King of Fighters. If I buy the 15, it'd be my first King of Fighters that I would actually play because I haven't played any of the previous ones before. So this would kind of be like of a new experience. Uh. I've always been more of like, you know, arc system work games in the sense like how fast paced they usually are. Um, now, how I'm looking in the direction of KOF is going, it's more like how Samurai Showdown uh, decided to go with 3D modeling, you know, and the game back then felt equally as uh, slow paced. So, but they kind of matched that pace in the new game the same way. Uh, so I'm assuming KOF probably is not going to have any downgrades, uh, in sense, like how the playability ends up, Evan, because it's like, you know, they, they're going to match the pace of the game. You know, they've done it with Marvel. They've done it. I mean, you know, with other games before. And so I'm pretty sure in this aspect, I think KOF might end up being really good, uh, 
because it'll probably, you know, all the new fighting games now are coming in with these new uh, AIs and stuff to help out newer players and, uh, you know, the controls to get them back into it. I mean, it's been a while since KOF released a certain game, right? So they're most likely taking their time, making sure it caters to almost every player. Because let's be honest, veterans have their preference, uh, you know, on how the game should be played because it's what they're used to. You know, but companies are in it, like in the game developers are in it to make money. They need to expand on that. That's why Tekken 7 was more accessible and easier for newer comer players because it's like, you know, the breaking system back then in the other games was like, you either break with, you know, like square or triangle, you know, and it's one of the other breaks or both at the same time. And you have to be very precise with that. The same way with the blocking system, how it was, they upgraded it back then. You know, if you held, like, if you did a back dash and you just blocked, you know, if you did it, you know, if you happen to try to do like a, a back dash just normally, you would get hit anyway. You know, it wouldn't block automatically like the new game does. So, you know, I think this is, you know, every game developer right now is catering in the sense to like make it easier for newer comer players so they can learn the games ins and outs for, uh, at the beginning. And then they can learn it at a deeper level after. So I think KOF, uh, what they're mentioning in, you know, more like a, a new uh, type of design and, and stuff like that, it's in the sense like to make it a lot uh, more simplistic for newer people to come into. And I think it'll have its moments where it has its hype. You know, they're going to add hype, you know, stuff like, for example, Tekken, they added the slow-mo. You know, at the beginning, it was super hype. Um, now you got, uh, I mean, Dragon Ball is kind of like, kind of slow in that aspect in a certain pace because it's like uh they tried to uh get it to to a mixture of i felt like marvel and like certain like blaze blue or you know guilty gear type of like feel of the games right yeah so they try to mix a little bit of both into it adding meter adding all this other stuff which i think that's basically in any anime game to be honest now that i think about it but uh KOF uh, most likely will be there for more like of an easier access, but veterans still are going to enjoy the game anyway because they know they're going to play it at a, at a high level. You need to play it a certain way. It's the same it goes for Tekken, you know, movement, fundamentals, and everything else. That's that all carries on, you know, and if you don't have any of that, it's not going to do you any good. So, but the newer players get uh, some help in the sense of what easier access to rage or certain maps on the buttons, you know, macros and stuff like that. Uh, previous games didn't really, you know, previous older games didn't really like allow you to do that. You had to be very specific and timely on that aspect. Um, I do look forward to the difference in the changes, you know, because it would be my first King of Fighter game. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I'll enjoy just as much as any other player. Uh, if I decide to learn it at a deeper level, then, Awesome. If not, at least you get to enjoy the game, you know, for what it is.